If you've ever wanted to give your kids the chance to be inspired by some of the greatest creative minds from around the globe, well, do I have an opportunity for you? And it happens every April right here in our own backyard. This is the Fairbridge Festival's festival within a festival, just for kids, and it is one of a kind. You will never hear Can We Go Yet coming out of here. And to prove it, I've brought a couple of small children along to demonstrate the phenomenon that is a magical weekend of entertainment for young and old alike. Well, once you've had your faces painted, it's time to grab one of these, a program, and settle down to the very serious business of figuring out, girls, what do we want to see today? That one? Okay, and what else? How about the afternoon? Um, let's do... Let's There's do a lot to figure this. out. Just as the big people have multiple stages and performers to choose from, the Fairbridge Children's Festival has a stack of venues and activities on the go. Of course, the Paper Scissors Rock Tent is a hive of hands-on creativity. But the little people also have their own performance marquee called Kaleidoscope, where some of the artists have tailored a show just for their younger fans that is completely separate from the shows they'll be putting on for the parents later in the evening. Local circus experts Kinetica fought off competition from 500 acts from around the globe to perform this year. And they're sharing their gravity-defying skills with the next generation of circus performers out on the Belfast lawn. And yes, this is the perfect opportunity for those who are still young at heart to relive the romance of running away with the circus. <laughs> this is too much fun. What sort of a parent would I be if I didn't give this a go? It's very important. <laughs> Having fun? Funny. It's been two hours and not a murmur of dissent. In fact, some of the kids have never really left. They came as kids with their parents 23 years ago and today are volunteers who just love this event. Some are even on stage performing themselves. And for me, that's one of the most exciting elements of the festival, how it can inspire children to pursue a lifelong passion for music. Sometimes those opportunities aren't available to all kids during the school term, but this event is the perfect combination of inspiration, performers who love to connect with the next generation, acres of stage for busking, and best of all, an audience that is here for three days. This festival is a lot of fun. Now, Todd is going to fill you in on the Big People's Festival a bit later on in the show, but remember, it's every April and it is fantastic. Now, have you guys had enough yet? No! I thought that was going to be the answer. Come on!